everyone and welcome to today's booty band workout challenge. So uh, we're just using a small resistance band for today's workout. So I'm just going to put that down while we just get ourselves warmed up. So a little heel to toe movement initially for me. Little roll of those shoulders backwards. So we've literally just got 10 different exercises that we're going to do today. One minute per exercise. Take it into an arc march. Rolling those shoulders forwards. And hopefully by the end, your booty is going to be on fire. Okay, take that into a march for me or a jog. Arms down in front, take them nice and high above the head. So just two minutes just to increase that heart rate and blood flow around the body. So let's just get a little bit warmer. Loosen up particularly those legs. Three more. Two. One. This time take the arms out to the side. About chest height. Just changing the hand that comes over in front of the other one for me. Three. Two. One. Just into a normal drag race. Those knees up a little bit more for me or if you're marching. Just march a little bit higher. And then heels up behind towards the bottom. And then just take it down into a body weight squat for me. I want you to do a little hamstring curl as well. So squat, little hamstring curl. So be sure to width pause, sticking the bum out behind. So keeping that weight back. A little curl as we come up, five more, four, three, two, one. Just take it into some starts for me. Oh, lost all my coordination there for a minute. Either doubles, or you can break it down, and you can just do a single for me. 20 seconds, and then we're going to get going. The last 10. One, take it down into a march. So grab yourself a drink if you want. Grab your band for me. I'm gonna set our timer going. So we're just stepping into this band, having it just above the knees. So what we're gonna do for our first move is we're gonna squat down. We're just doing step acrosses. So we're going from side to side. Two or three. I'm just doing two here just so I can stay in screenshot for you. So we're just maintaining. B when we come into centre a hip width apart, we obviously take them wider as we step out. If it's a little bit hard, just come more upright for me. Obviously we want these booties to burn right from the first one. Right over halfway on your first move. 20 seconds, so bum out behind so our knees are not coming forwards over our toes. So stay down forward, a little bit lower if you can for 10. Down we go. Squeeze those booties. Last two. Last one. So that's your first move done. So it's going to move back this time. What we're going to do this time is we're going to go out into a diagonal walk with a squat as well. So we're going to walk forwards, walk backwards. So down into squat position. I step out, wide, squat down. Turn, squat. So I'm staying quite low here. Squatting as we come forwards, diagonal, then back. So I do it so my feet are facing the same direction. So I spin, squat. Keep that going. So diagonal walk with that squat. So nice and wide here. Both feet facing the same direction. So try and stay again nice and low. If it's a little bit hard, just come up. Just do a diagonal walk for me and take the low squat out. So keep going for me. 
So squatting down. Keep that going. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Relax it. Next one. So what we're going to do now is we're going down to a nice wide squat. We're going to maintain that squat position. Do a heel raise. Come up. Squat down. Heel raise. Up. Keep that band out. Heel raises. So that's your easiest move to come back up in between. If not, let's just stay down into that squat position for 10. Three more. Two. One. Come back up. Down. Heel raise. Make sure that your knees are not giving way and the band coming in. So you need to really think about keeping those outer thighs against that band. Forgot what I was doing then. Squat. Hold it. Stay low. Heel raises here. So keep that band out. I know I can feel that I'm wanting to let the band come in. Stay there. You've got three, two, one. Relax, we're going down onto the mat now. So, we're kneeling down on the mat. So I'm on all fours, hands shoulder width apart, knees are hip width apart, 30 seconds on each leg. What we're gonna do is you're raising a knee out to the side. Make sure that it's not your ankle that's leading the movement. So you need to twist, twist from the knee. So your knee is higher than what your foot is. So head just neutral looking down to the mat. If you need to, pop your knee back down between each one. Now keep going forward, we've got three more on this leg. Two, one, opposite side, now spin round. So you're raising with your knee first. So twist that knee out. Keep that going, 15 seconds. So keep that knee raised higher than your foot. Pulling out. Keep going for me for three, two, one. Rest in. So, this next one again, hands and knees, band still just above the knees there for me. So, all you're going to do this time, pull the tummy in nice and tight. Go up onto your toes. Then we are just simply pulling the knees out to the sides. Great one for the core as well here. So feet, shoulder width apart. Just hover up onto your toes. And then you're pulling your knees out to the side. So we're just pulling out and then back to center. Get the back nice and straight. So we in tight, you're halfway. So keep it up. Keep pulling those knees out. Keep that bum down. Keep going, you have 15 seconds. Keep pulling them out. Less than 10. Keep working. For three, two, one. Whew. We're gonna land flat this time. So you're going to lie yourselves down, flat. And then all we're going to do this time is you're going to lift your feet off the floor. And then again, pulling that band out to the side. Away we go. So I've got my feet flexed. So my toes pointing back. My legs are just slightly off the floor. You are really squeezing these glutes. Head just relaxed. Keep it going. You're probably going to feel this in the lower back as well. Which is perfect and normal. Keep going there. 20. 
20 seconds. If you need some rest, you take your legs down. Not keep them up. Keep squeezing. So we're doing it's partly a dorsal race, so you're gonna feel it in your lower back as well. For three, two, one. Relaxing down. And we're gonna turn our sails over to do some glute bridges now. So we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna make sure that the pelvis is tilted so the lower back is nice and flat. What you're gonna do is you're gonna raise up for me into that glute bridge, hips nice and high. Again, feet shoulder width pull. Pull those knees out to the side. Keeping your hips up. Squeezing those glutes. Just trying to keep those full hips high. Pulling those knees out. Keeping it up there for me, you are halfway. Keep squeezing and keep breathing. You've got 15 seconds. Take it down if you need to. Last 10. Pull those knees out. Pull against that band. For three, two, one. Relax them. Another glute bridge this time. We're working single leg. So 30 seconds on one leg, 30 seconds on the other. So, again, raising up into that glute bridge. One leg comes down to the floor, up above. Down to the floor, up above. Trying to keep the hips stable so I'm not rocking from side to side. But I'm pulling up against the band and then down against the band. So squeezing those glutes. Last three, two, one, changing over, keep the hips up for me, you've got 20 seconds, so up and down against that band, squeeze those glutes, keep those hips high for me, Tummy in really nice and tight. For three, two, one. Relaxing down. Coming back up for me. And a couple more exercises. Just gonna move that band out the way. It's time, we're gonna go back down to that squat. You're doing a tap behind and out to the side. So down into that squat, stay nice and low for me. A tap behind and out to the side. Okay, 30 seconds on one, 30 seconds on the other. And we're gonna finish on one, which is also gonna really get into those abs for you. For three, two, one, change. Opposite leg. Again, if you need to, just come back up. Have a little breather. If not, bend that knee down into that squat. Put tap behind, slightly out to the side as well. So behind and out. Keep working, 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Coming back down to your mat. This is our final one, we're going to go side plank position, and then all you're going to do is outer leg raise. So I've gone into a high plank there, if you want to, just take it down, keep that hip up, so you're working your abdominals as well. Try not to let your foot touch back down to the floor, try and keep that resistance there, so up against it. I already go back to hip high. 10 seconds. Hand down to support the body. Keep going for me. Three, two, one. 
Opposite side for you. So down against that resistance. You prefer come up into that higher position. No real difference there. Don't let that band drop. These are your last ones. Ten seconds. And then we are done. Squeeze those glutes. For three, two, one. And relax. And then we come. I feel that we need to just do some stretches. So in fact, stay sat down. One foot across. Just reaching behind. Change over. The leg out. Leg across. Woo. Just look behind. And relaxing. Coming back up for me. One foot across the knee. Just a little bit of test your balance. Just squatting down. Stretching all the way up through that outer part of the thigh. Right into the glutes there. Changing over. And relaxing. Into this stretch. I can feel the tightness right up there in those outer glutes. And relaxing. Hands straight one foot in front of the other. Weight into your back leg. Changing them over. So again, warm up really important to get that blood pumping around the body to those working muscles. Quad stretch and these stretches at the end just to relax everything. So a little bend your supporting leg, hips forwards, change over for me. Relaxing down. Just take a squat for me. Take a deep breath. Reach really, really nice and tall. And then back down. Give yourselves a round of applause. Excellent. So if you want to make that harder, you just repeat that circuit. Have fun and enjoy.